very good morning my friends how are you guys i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking today's video will be doing some live trading using simple hit and run and i'm not going to use any uh, trend lines or chimuko or whatever i will be i will be just using very simple hit and run using support and resistance uh, chasing uh, the first and second attempts of support and resistance and also be switching between four hours chart and 30 minutes and sometimes 15 minutes chart as well so let me just go to the straight straight to the straight uh, to the trades right now uh, we have the pound and the d and on the four hour chart i can see it very simple happening uh, we can see this is a, down, a downtrend which I usually don't really look at, but what we are doing here is just analyzing as everyone can understand it. So what we are seeing here is we are having here a previous support. This support has been broken out by this bearish long red candle. Then on the same level, we can see that this support has become a new resistance. So we have now a resistance number one has been created right after the breakout from the support now we can see the candles also performing a resistance number two so all the conditions now are completed on the four hour chart check four hour chart is now showing me a valid setup i need to jump to the 30 minute time frame to decide if i should enter this or not now what we are seeing on the four hour chart is very uh, promising as well same we can see this support here has been broken out by this uh, bearish breakout candle we can see the price action attempt for the resistance number one right now the market is creating the resistance number two also we can see that very clear on the 30 minute time frame let's zoom in to see the price action this price action is actually promising i like it uh, this is my favorite candle if guys who are following me for a long time they know that already so I'm going to place sell order and please notice because I'm using the true ECN account from IC market my trigger area is on exactly the entry level which I wanted there is almost no spread you can enjoy this experience by using IC market and you can uh, support this channel by opening account from the link in the description so again now since i have placed my sell order right here let's uh, assume that we have here this is the nearest support because now i need to select where is my exit level since i place my sell here so where am i going to exit this trade with a profit the answer is that should be on the nearest support or resistance so if we are following this these candles if we are following them where is the nearest support? It's just right here. Because this support was previously also a resistance on the 15 minute, uh, sorry, on the 30 minute time frame. Therefore, this will be my take profit level, just like that. 14 pips, and that is very nice for a scalping trade. Now, allow me to uh, go back to the four hour chart. And right now, I will try to find something else which I can use and allow me also to tell you the reason why i'm skipping some of the trades for example i'm now on the pound usd and i'm just skipping it now there is a reason because on the four hour chart we can see how the market right now is ranging a lot that is not what i want i want to avoid ranged market i want to see a simple support or resistance but with when you are seeing now the pound usd it's ranging a lot here and we can see how the market has been going up and down for quite long time switch back to the 30 minute time frame and you will see how ugly it is this is the worst kind of market you want to do some scalping on it that's why i'm skipping it and i'm going uh, to another pair we can see the same thing happen for the euro usd as well it's ranging a lot on the four hour chart and i don't want to see any kind of ranging market right now uh aud AUD, uh, AUD usd um i agree it is bad it is good but still i don't want it there is the reason so i'm skipping the aud usd and i will tell you the reason why we can see that we have here a resistance level which has been later a letter breaking out by this bearish uh, breakout candle but the thing is we have already a resistance number one 
and a resistance number two already happened they already occurred both of the resistance number one and resistance number two let me switch to the 30 minute time frame we can see it we can see now here resistance number one and here resistance number two has already been performed and you can see that the market has reversed on this level and went down all the way to the nearest support therefore let's me let's see how many pips that was eh, barely four pips so that is that's why i'm skipping on this setup because i don't want to enter late or enter uh, so early uh, usdgpy also i cannot enter this trade because we can see that after this bearish breakout candle we have the resistance number one and we have the resistance number two right now the market is on the resistance number three sorry number three and of course for me res resistance uh, or support number three is a big no therefore i'm skipping the usdgpy so i'm just here explain to you the reason i'm skipping so many of these uh, setups i'm just quickly jumping between the pairs hoping to find something good and so far can't really find something uh, which i really want now i will tell you if we cannot find something on the four hour chart we will jump to the one hour chart so again a lot of ranging market recently we can see since uh, two days ago uh, the market has been ranging uh, for quite a long time yesterday was uh, USD bank holiday also the market was sleeping and here we cannot really find anything gold I don't trade gold let's see okay so we cannot find anything on the four hour chart on all of the pairs so let's make it more simple I will switch now to the one hour chart so I can see what I cannot see before on the four hour chart so let's go this is the trade we are on right now it's still the market not reversed yet uh, here we cannot find anything ranging 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 a lot why I'm doing this why don't I just pause the video and find the setups because I want you to leave the setup with me I want you to to live uh, the moment actually uh, this is the reality when you are doing some scalping what are you going to do when you are actually on it trading with your money so I, that's why I just want you guys, those who are having enough patience, to stay with me and live the moment. To see what is it really like to be uh, do some scalping. How, how hard it is to find setups uh, which are valid setups so you can keep your money safe and keep it uh, consistent profit. You cannot just enter any setup you see. You cannot force the market uh, to give you setups. You cannot just imagine that this setup should work or not. You either find something good or you don't find it. So unfortunately, I cannot find anything so far. So in this uh, case, I have to pause the recording right now. And I'll be back, guys, when there is any more opportunities appeared. And I will show you also what will going to happen with the pound and ZD. So I'll see you guys later. So I just wanted to come back to you guys and show you how I will enter this trade. Uh, on the one hour chart on the euro AUD, we can see if I zoom in that this was here previously a support. This support has been broken out by this bearish uh, long candle. Then we also on the same level here, we have the resistance number one. And now the market is going up to create the resistance number two. So this is again on the one hour chart. Let me switch now to the 15 minute time frame and we can see it very clear that the candle is approaching the same level of the previous support and I will place the sell immediately and again I'm very happy with my trigger area uh, there is no spread and that is actually very great when you are scalping because it's very important to know when where is exactly your entry point let me now delete this line so I have entered my trade right here because again I'm telling you this is exactly the level where it was previously a support and I will show you what I'm where I'm looking at I'm looking right here so this is the support level which has been broken out by this bearish uh, red candle and it has become here a resistance number one now the market is approaching to create resistance number two <clears throat> now let me tell you something 
I am on the 15 minute time frame, right? And right now here, I have the indicator which is telling me when this candle is going to expire. And there is almost two minutes remaining. Let me tell you, this trade, I will decide that it will be closed with a loss if this candle closes actually like that. As a full breakout candle breaking from this resistance level. If the market break from this resistance level and this candle closes as a breakout candle, at this time I will decide, okay, this trade should be closed with the loss and I don't think it's going to uh, reverse. However, if the candle closed like that, for example, with the long wick at its top, that is different. In this case, I will just wait for it because there is high probability that the market is creating a price action and there is, will be a reversal happening soon. So we cannot just rush and close the trade right now with the loss, of course. So now the trade is just uh, <clears throat> still like one pip uh, against me. Now the question is, where am I going to set my take profit? It's very simple. Again, we need to set our take profit at the nearest support or resistance. So in this scenario, the nearest support or resistance is right here. Just this one. Because on this level, we have a support and also we have a resistance. So this is the nearest support or resistance. Actually, this is the nearest resistance. Meaning that uh, I'm, uh, I'm aiming about 7 pips of profit. And I will just uh, drag my take profit there. Like that. Okay. So it's time now. L look at that. Now we are 14 or 12, 11 minutes, uh, seconds away. 8 seconds away from the closure of this candle. Let's see how the candle will close. Let's watch it together. It closes like that. It closed like that, meaning there is a still a chance of a reversal. I don't think the market will continue to go more up. You can see the market, how it's happening now. The market tried to go more up here, and it just failed so far. I told you, it is most likely just reversing and just going up to create the price action. You have to wait for the candles to finish creating the price action. You cannot decide anything unless you actually see it, the candle closes and the price action has com has been completely performed. That's why we can see now the market is reversing. That's great, fantastic. Let's go to the other trade. This one is still actually reversing, but notice something, the market didn't go uh, above this level. So this is a good sign. We are uh, looking for good profit from these two trades. And now I will pause the recording again, uh, hoping to find something else, and I will be back to you guys in a few minutes. Now I'm on the USD GPY and I'm seeing something actually very good. Let me tell you something. I'm on the one hour chart right now. And right here we can see there is a resistance. And here as well, this resistance has been lately broken out by this bearish breakout candle. And we can see a first attempt approach on the same level. Or sorry, uh, already occurred. Right now we can see the approach of a resistance number two. So I need to rush uh, now. I need to jump to the 15 minute time frame. Uh, this is a very good entry point. We can see now I'm still on the resistance and immediately the sell has been placed. Uh, I might be like one pip away late. That's fine. Uh, because again, I'm telling you on the 15 minute time frame, we can see how there was a rejection on this resistance number one. So again, this is a, res a resistance number one. And we can see how many attempts it was there i mean the resistance number one is really strong enough to be sure that the resistance number two should actually work now you might tell me but why th there are so many attempts how can you say that all of them are resistance number one very good question because if you switch to the one hour chart we can see how it is just one attempt the market went up here and has been ranging for quite a long time before actually reversing the attempt is known as a reversal so as unless there is no reversal you cannot count the attempts like for example you cannot tell me here we have like uh, two or three attempts the, the the single reversal because you have here one reversal only which is like that right so this is a reversal meaning this is a resistance number one that's why now i'm aiming a resistance number two and this time uh, the take profit will be at the nearest support or resistance 
which in this scenario and I'm on the one hour chart the nearest support is actually right here so this will be my take profit that is about five pips which is not bad it's very if it's very easy to predict if this trade will be lost or not because we have this resistance level here this level of the resistance if I see this candle closes below or oh sorry above this uh, resistance level as a breakout candle then I will decide okay this is a uh, lost trade and I cannot uh, stay on it anymore and therefore we have to close it with the loss but only we have to wait for the candle to actually close without the candle closed I cannot decide anything because I need to see which price action will appear in the end let's go to the first trade which is still going against us but I believe the market again is going up only to create the price action look at it now it's now reversing again it's going down don't be fooled by this candle this is really one of the fake candles you can think that it is uh, going up that is not true I explained many times before that if you want to decide that this market is now continue to go more up the mar or the candle should actually appear like that it should be a full bar with almost no wicks at its top, top or any tails at bottom and it just completely uh, like a green candle all right but this one it has a long tail at its bottom that's why I don't think this the market will continue to go more up most likely it's not uh, let's uh, zoom out more on the 30 minute time frame we can see my friends that also here we have another resistance right here so there is a still a possibility that the market will go up to hit this resistance level before it continue to go more down that is giving me another setup so now if the market will continue to go more up I'm going to place another sell so we will have two sell orders on the pound and the D and I'm thinking to place uh, the sell right away because the market is almost there on the level which I am waiting for right here so yes because I'm looking at the weeks here and I can see the shortest week is just right here exactly so the market is supposed to reverse now on this resistance there is another option uh, maybe the market will reverse from this point but it will go, just go down to my trigger area and then continue to go more up if this happened then I will close the first trade with a break even and I will make the profit actually from the second trade that is one of the money management uh, strategies you can do and I really like it but the problem here if the market will continue to go more up your losses will be doubled so you really have to be careful when you do this uh, this style uh, just don't leave your computer just stay uh, close to your trade watch the market to be careful what will gonna happen so again this is 30 minute time frame still 22 minutes for closure of this candle um, the next trade the other trade is doing very well still going in profit three pips uh, profit this one still struggling for the USDGPY and this is the pound the NZD so total we have four trades on three pairs so guys now I will stop the recording and I'll be back to you soon to show you what will gonna happen with these trades so my friends just to keep you updated of what's going on uh, but before that I need to enter this trade right front of you because here I can see on the one hour chart for the GPP GPY we have here a resistance and the market has approached this level and we can see uh, this it was a resistance then it has become a support then after that we see this bearish breakout candle and now the market is on this level so again I'm on the one hour chart I will switch now to the 15 minute time frame and we can see the reversal is already occurring on this level and the sell, sell order has been placed uh, I agree it's late one but because if the candle has reached this level before this red candle appear I would have entered on the same level as well so since I have entered here I need to exit my trade of course at the nearest support or resistance so the nearest support is just right here because even if it is so small this is a support this should be about six pips which which is really good for a scalping session and I will just set my take profit right on this level here so for the previous trades so no total we have now five trades running at the same time uh, let's go to the trades and see what's going on as I told you 
look at this one even though for the GBP and ZD even though we can see the market is breaking out from this level it's reversing I told you don't rush to decide if the trade is closed with the loss immediately you have to wait to see how the candle will close this candle this bullish breakout candle it is not really a breakout because you can see how it has long wick at its top and a small tail meaning the market is expected to be reversed at this level I cannot say that for sure 100% sure this will, the market will reverse uh, Forex is whole Forex actually is based on analyzing and if your analysis even sometimes if it is correct uh, Forex cannot be very reliable market sometimes the market can go against you that's why I'm telling you you have to stay front of your trade don't go, go don't go away don't just uh, set the stop loss and take profit and leave this is not really good you have to watch the market you have to stay here and analyze it so what I did was watching how the market is going uh, to be after the breakout from this level we can see this candle this the middle candle it couldn't even reach the top of this week here meaning this uh, this bullish momentum is so weak the market is not expected to go more up than uh, upper than that or higher than that that's why we can see that the third candle has given up and it just went down as a red candle and I believe the market will continue to go more down until hitting our take profit so we just have to wait some more uh, some few more minutes for this one for the a euro AUD as well we can see the same thing also happened we can see that the market indeed tried to break from this resistance but in the end this candle closed uh, very weak candle the price action is uh, indicating a reversal right now it is not breakout candle and that's why we can see the market now it's, look at it the market is trying to break from this level it, it just couldn't it just couldn't break from this level and I'm, th I'm sure this is a very good trade we are going to make some good money with it this one however uh, USDJPY I believe this one yes we have given enough uh, time for this one uh, I believe this one we will close it with the loss look at one hour chart we can see the breakout is really strong there is 13 minutes left uh, I believe I believe yes we have to close this one with the loss uh, this one doesn't seem let me tell you the reason because you see this top of the resistance here right here the market um, let me tell you we can see this resistance here and now let's uh, focus our eyes here our site here look at that we can see that the market has actually broke from this resistance and the market went down to retest and the retest has actually worked and the market is continuing to go more up that's why uh, I think I will close it with the loss of $15 that is totally fine this is normal no one said that I don't lose at all and therefore we have these four trays still running we need to wait uh, for them to see what will gonna happen meanwhile let me try to find something good while you guys are with me uh, please bear with me my friends I don't want to make long videos but um, this is the reality of trading we have to be honest with everyone that's why I'm just uh, showing you the reality and I want you to be with me when I'm finding some setups so what we are seeing here is very simple hit and run we can see a support number one here after the breakout from this resistance and we can see a support number two is occurring on this level uh, 15 minute time frame um, I'm just like one people uh, late from uh, the entry of this level but that is totally fine the, the buy order has been placed and we can see this is a really simple hit and run this is one of the easiest setups I can find why because we can see here a simple uh, support number one and I have placed my buy on support number two and let's say even so if the market will go down the next level is very easy it's see it's just here because here also we have a support so this is also a support number one so if the market will go down even if it goes more down it is very easy to predict where the market will reverse as well and I can place another buy order right on this support number two if the market will go down here however the market still didn't go down there and I think I'm fine so far now where is the nearest support or resistance let me tell you please look at the left 
here here we can see there is a resistance and if I rise my line here to this resistance like that we can see that there is also here a small wick so this wick here can be considered as a resistance number one the reason is we can see that there is a resistance here has been broken out by this long bearish breakout candle meaning this level has been breaking out and the market went up right here to create the first attempt of this resistance so this can be considered as a resistance meaning the nearest resistance or support to my entry will be right here that will be about five pips and th this is what I'm going to do so this is here the nearest resistance to my entry so now we have total again uh, of five trades uh, going on this one is uh, going well see that uh, see that five pips of profit for the second trade but the first trade is in loss of almost seven pips which is totally normal and fine uh, this reversal this price action is really strong I believe the market now will continue to go more down I don't think it will go up so let's wait and see what will gonna happen so now my friends I'm gonna have to rec uh, pause the record and I'll be back to you oh wait a minute before that we have to see uh, other trades how they are doing JPP uh, JPY is doing well as well okay yeah so my friends now I have to pause the recording and I'll be back to you soon to show you what will gonna happen with these trades so my friends we are back now we can see that GPP GPY has already hit the take profit and another trade has just hit the take profit uh, six pips of profit very good we can see GPP NZD is still going in uh, the direction which is really good um, let's see AUD USD is still going very well also and we had before the Euro AUD uh euro aud and yes a euro aud has just hit the take profit right in front of you right now uh with almost six pips of profit very nice uh this account is very near to be 600 dollars soon so now we have these four running trades uh again aud usd is very close to hit the take profit only two pips away and this one is really going well for the pound nzd uh, there is a chance that I will close it with the profit soon because as I said before the market has reversed here Which is good, but there is still a possibility that the market will reverse because here we have a support So there is a chance that once the candle reach this level it might continue to go more up and I don't want to be greedy I'm not a greedy person and that's why I will close it break even and I will take the profit from the first trade with almost eight pips of profit plus the loss will be almost uh, three pips uh, with the commission still fine because total we have in the total amount we have uh, nine ten dollars twelve dollars profit which is nice uh, I'm just thinking to keep these threads running front of you so we can see it together um, I think I will close this one right now because I don't want to keep uh, this trade running it's just two pips away two pips of loss that is totally fine I can accept it 17 18 not bad at all uh, five dollars plus the, plus the commission yeah that should be fine no need to be greedy at all 23 dollars of profit uh, great 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 very nice close it this one also I think I will close it right now and that should be fine because the, the video is now 30 minutes uh, long and I don't want to make it so long I uh, just wanted to show you guys how we can handle the losses and when they occur we can actually recover immediately by just open some more trades but be sure that they will be good setups as long as they are good setups you should not be you should not feel guilty or feeling bad if you lost the trades you will only lose if your analysis was terribly wrong or you got greedy uh, if you are for example uh, in a setup that can provide you just uh, six pips of profit but you are aiming 16 or 20 pips in this case no matter how how your analysis was correct you might lose because aiming big can also mean you will lose big aiming little can also uh, meaning that you will lose little 
that's why I'm still safe in this market and I found scalping to be the best way to scalp uh, to actually be consistently making profit in Forex so guys uh, that is it for today uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching